our YouTube. Let's continue. I just kind of changed my little outfit. You feel me? Yo, I gotta go save again. Shorty is sleeping, bro. Watch your step, Move, partner. bro. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. And Shorty should be awake. Comes it. Oh, I can't read the clock. But what? Seems like it's still nighttime. Alright. Back. Should take the gun store. I got some money now. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. You told me to call you Miss. What are you talking about? Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Yo, Years what? Before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't I don't remember like. that. Bill Williamson was in that gang. I don't remember him having a daughter. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Nah. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's yeah, true. Elephants don't Especially forget. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. Oh. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. He's just having some grim things. Whoa, My he's from Chicago? Whoa, what? She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area. And a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, mm. I can try. That's you, shorty. Don't money. worry. No. I got no so money. Don't give me no money. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. My horsey, 
I need a new outfit, bro. I need a new haircut, bro. Let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Come on, like Mr. a fresh cut. Why do I got this long hair? Go. Thank you for telling me all. Control that horse, will you? Bro, why is she keep yelling now. At me? Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Show my body. Shooty on my body. Let's do it, John. John, just knock it Whoa. down, bro. Let's go. You heard them. Shoot him. Hold them at gun, gunpoint. Hey yo, yo stop, stop. Where y'all going? We need to take them out to the pasture. Yeah, yeah, stop. Come on. Come on. Hey yo, where you going, buddy? I guess he's gonna live yeah. on. Never yeah, mind, he, he, he caught up. You need to get in your pack though, buddy. Who are all these other cows? You got more cows, bro? Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Yeah. Come on. Come on, fatty. I'm going too fast. Just do side quests with her, even though she's a main quest. Who you tweaking on me, girl? Come on. Let me do this to I forgot your name. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck a fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said. No, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> oh, man, bro. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. Get on, you bro. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo. You can go and try to pull up on me. Oh, yeah. What is your name, friend? I got my gun. Oh, good God. I got my gun out and I'm making these guys look faster. How 
Shoot, like shoot and freaking drive, bro. Please drive carefully. Every bump is like getting struck by lightning. Stop moaning, old man. You'll be fine. Just sit and save some of your breath for breathing. What the hell happened to you? Bandits, hoodlums, the scoundrels brought me blind and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, I'm a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well cut suit and this happened. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. I wouldn't put that gun away just yet, sir. Oh my gosh, they're blowing me down. Right we must hurry! Alan, don't stop! I'm begging you! I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I knew this wasn't my time. I'm gonna blow that dude down. No homo, no homo. I thought I was a goner for sure. I'm gonna block you, big long. I wouldn't start celebrating just yet, friend. Yet, I embrace you. For Christ's sake, man, you're gonna be fine. We're nearly there. Into your arms. We're here. Stay with me. Oh, oh my neck. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. So what happened? Nope, don't don't do the mission yet. Not yet, not yet. Come back after 8 p.m. today. Good. How are you, friend? There you go. And a pistol. Almost 350. That's a fine deal. That's what I want. Give me that blick, bro. Give me the blicky, bro. Faster. Has more power, less range. Okay. Okay, okay. You hit bullets, bro? I'm back at 8 p.m., bro? What time is it? Can I read that? 3 0, oh, maybe 3 or 3 or something. Where's the woody color at? Oops. I this house. Let me see. What happened here? <laughs> I'm skinning this little horse in front of the this whole town. Is this is getting dirty, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. That's crazy. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell that stuff because. Hello, friend. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? A fine transaction. That's it. Uh, how much money? Don't tell me it's like a hundred bucks. I get it there, bro. My bad, my bad, my bad. Hey, handsome. Hey. It's only $50. I'll take it. Now we can save the game. Okay, you know.
Hello, sir. Hey, right. well, well. <laughs> right, let's go talk to buddy. Hell yeah. You got places to be, buddies. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more. That's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. Scammy. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I'm broke. I need a healthy young man like you. Mm. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> now let's All right, John, let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. Come with me. Let me drive the boat. Let, let me drive the boat. And I am out you, John Marston. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible. Of course. Stay on the road! You're going to destroy the merchandise! Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood. We're eating such ill informed scuttle fun. What do you have? Try to stay on the road! You can't use my controller. Not even my fault if I'm going off the road. I will not apologize, but the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the field of St. Thomas and medical research. Taking me for an idiot. My tonic cures all known ailments. That I can guarantee you. But for the sake of argument, even if it didn't, surely there is still value in giving a person the belief they can feel better. Is that not, after all, the cornerstone of religion? Faith has its own duty. So you're God now? We live in progressive times, John. The spirit of the enterprise must be embraced. Except the job ever sure. Put up the price on solace, a peace of mind. I sell hope, John. I sell dreams. Is that not what this country was built upon? You sell shit. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. Right, let's go, buddy. I'll see you there. Be ready Yo. to enchant the crowd. Wait, what? what? Yeah, follow me on foot, bro. You capping me. I got my own horsey. Good to see you all, my friends. Prepare to be amazed. Uh, friends! Uh, uh. Hard-working souls of uh, Chola Springs. Gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism? Lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain. Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that 
cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. Yeah, I'm Austin. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens He's the joints drugs, and gives bro. a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. <clears throat> Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. <laughs> what a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. I'll see you. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. What skull is that, bro? What skull is that? Shoot the skull, stranger. Remarkable! <clears throat> the eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, Ooh. our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready. He's about to throw it. How do I do? Go home! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Behold the power blown down. Plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? You want to throw hands? You want to throw? A challenge of battle has been <clears throat> offered to our volunteer. Prepare for oh, what the display fuck? of Herculean war. This is about to get ugly, pal. <clears throat> there it is, skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. This is your hands. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get this it. ends now. Watch out! He's gotta go! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Oh, hey, a marvelous shot, dear boy! I shot his head first. Deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come! I have plenty for all! Get out of my way, man. Yeah, no harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Wait, sir. I've been thinking about your predicament, and I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. 
Beware of the Greeks bearing gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Seth? He's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! What? Uh. Right. Where am I going? What? Where my horsey, bro? Come here, man. Oh, you tripping. <clears throat> we gotta talk to, um... Marshall. My house here, multiple. Yeah. Ooh, he's just a boy. Ooh, do I get new blip? <laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's going to be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think shotgun I know too. any other kind, sir. I'm going to shotgun too, bro. He's the junk dude. Hey, wait up! Why the freaking? Come on! Why have to kill this, buddy? All right, let's go. Stay together, Marston. I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the east. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Science is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? Might just be a dead critter. Arson, take a look. Eli, you too. Bruh. Come on, come on. Going on over here. Yeah. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Why are you yelling? Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Give me that gun. I got a... Nice. I got it for free. Keep following this road. What kind of man does that? A hey, bunch yo. of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Now the words out, we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. I can see more boats up ahead. All right, let's go check it out. All right. Yeah. I'm going. Who the heck? A random lady. Come on, did I skip it? On the AM exit. I do Thank you. Did I just skip a cutscene? Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Let's search the area. Just came from here. What? Can I just run the room right here? Let's go! No 
one here. Here you go. Might not get freaking monetized. Oh my gosh, bro. Please don't shoot me. And then what is that? came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. Oh, what? This has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. Oh my gosh. I'm not freaking in cover. I need to reload and I need to itch my eye, bro. Wait. This ain't nice. Here's one of This one here, bro. You go upstairs right quick. Yo, this place is so freaking hard to move around. Ain't you a pretty little thing? You're gonna be all right. You can be down, bro. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. Oh my god. Keep your head down. They did unspeakable things to me. I understand. I'm gonna get out of here. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Watch out. Hey. Yo. Give me that money, bro. Give me that money. <clears throat> Don't look, try to escape into the cells, but then some robbers start chasing him down. There's a beat down, down, bro. Why you doing? You were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You fogey men. You ain't nothing. You're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Country. Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. I got it. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. Out up, boy. We gotta get after those bandits. All right, let's find those bastards. Come on. Come on, guys, they're pulling for me. You think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, my enemies close to me. Dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family. Wait, who's that up there? This is Snubber Gangs. Just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. 
Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody yeah. take cover! In it's so shot. slow, bro. I would have been shut him down, bro. We're there. Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. If you don't stop that, you ain't gonna live. Hey, 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 guy, hey, like that. Can't shoot the wood, it's crazy. Hey yo, why are you using the armor? You should be not like that. I don't like that, bro. We're gonna burn Fort Parker to the ground! Bro, there's a freaking thing in my way, bro. Pull the bomb me. Pull the bomb me. Pull the bomb me. Pull the bomb me. Let's make these bastards pay for what they did to those cars. Think we can build that, bro. Yeah, Bill. Yo, no, almost there. Uh, I'm his back, bro. Norman Deke. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. What is that name? Fuck you. Hog time. Let's get him to jail. I wish I had a hard tie. Do I really ha don't have a hard tie? That was all. I'm gonna use loot up and I'm gonna stop the recording. You feel me? Maybe the end of the video, y'all. What have we got here? Just need some money, bro. Give me all that money. Sometimes you get stuck on the bodies, I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> Hi YouTube. Hope y'all enjoyed this little you know episode. Do like, comment, subscribe, all that. You know, I'll see you on the next video.